We've got three incidents that I believe uh, shows uh, pretty well how Jeb Bush's campaign has evolved or devolved uh, over the past few months as it became clear that the man who thought he might have a pretty easy walk to the nomination is facing uh, a ton of opposition from outside candidates like Trump, like Carson, like Fiorina. Uh, so we're going to talk about a couple of his recent comments that show uh, the various ways that his campaign is sort of the wheels are spinning off at this point. Uh, the first, now this is uh, something that, that, that Ben pointed out to us. Uh, and Ben is going to make his point about why it's so offensive, but it involves Jeb Bush and a little girl. Here you go. What do you say, Layla? Thank you. You're a cutie, Layla. I thought he was really, really nice. I asked him, what are you running for president for? He said, because he wants to make the country safe. There's a little Jeb Bush ad there. Yeah, they put the exclamation point back in the back in the logo because it came out for a little oh, while. Oh, did it really? It? Yeah, I, I, it uh, it's torn back to the Jeb. I know, before it's, it's, it was, it was just, just Jeb. Jeb. Well, he was being criticized for being low energy, and how do you solve that? Exclamation points. Jeb. 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 <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So I just I, I, it takes an eight-year-old girl, and I mean it's just weird. It's warped to me. It's the same thing his brother did and Dick Cheney did in 2004 which was campaign essentially as, oh, you, I've said this a zillion times, but you can vote for John Kerry, that's fine. He's a good man, John Kerry, but your, your kids will die. Yeah. yeah it's cool. If you, if you don't care about your kids, yeah. Yeah. then you should vote Imagine for Imagine a little girl asks you that question and you say to keep you safe, implying you're, you're not yeah, safe. Yeah, 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 you're, There's a lot of danger coming. Yeah, it's just like, but no, talk about something then, that a child needs to understand at that and point. And then they made politics. a commercial out of it. Then they promoted it. Right. Like, it's just, it just, it's just a, all of it seems a peculiar decision to mm -hmm. me. You there know? is something deeply sinister about a middle-aged, upper middle-aged man sort of putting his arm around <laughs> an, an eight-year-old girl. I'm sorry, whether yeah. it's a public place or not. It just feels creepy. It's, it's the cool. same weird vibe I get when Donald Trump talks about his daughter. Oh, just, I just God. don't like that it. Vibe is um, so yeah, and, and it, it might be, I, I don't know, but it might be that this is the sort of beginning of Jeb attempting to run a sort of campaign the way Bush ran his campaigns. I mean, look, Trump is talking about ISIS and stuff like that from time to time, but he's really, he's running his campaign on indignation and making you uh, hate Mexicans, uh, gays, things like that. Not necessarily our country could literally be destroyed. Our morals could be destroyed. The world that you thought you knew is slowly being taken away, but not that we're about to be bombed by Saddam or Al Qaeda. You know, I, I, uh, I was away for the debate, uh, unfortunately, so I wasn't here for our, our debate coverage. I, I was out of town, and I'm sure you guys pointed it out, but the biggest applause line that, that Jeb uh, got during the <laughs> debate was that moment. Uh, where when talking about his brother, he started, he embraced his brother. It was a peculiar moment because this guy's supposed to be supposed to be persona non grata in the Republican yeah. Party. And, and he embraced it and he said, and I think it was against with Trump, he said he kept us safe, I'll tell you that, right? Yeah. And it got this round, stirring round of applause and I just... Those that, people not knowing what 9-11 was. Well, that was I was going to ask about that, but anyway. <laughs> but I mean, but I mean it's, he was president for eight months and he'd been warned, uh, been a lot determined to attack inside the U.S. Presidential daily briefing, August 6th, he gets it. Yeah. He didn't do anything about it. He literally didn't do anything about it. Maybe he didn't even read it. Uh, and then we were attacked on 9-11 and 3,000 Americans died. And this guy gets credit for keeping mm -hmm. us safe. Yeah, because he wasn't attacked twice during that time. And he, they didn't have to attack us twice because he... Uh, on the best case scenario, bad intelligence, but that's horse crap. They wanted to go. They yeah. played with the intelligence. I think they, to be charitable, I think there was a chance, I think there's a good chance that they thought, oh, we'll find weapons, right? Like, yeah. I know we don't have any evidence of it, but we'll there's find There's gotta be Saddam, something. He probably has something. I think you're, I'm surprised how charitable you're being on that. That's but the I'm best I can go. do. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I raised the, the, I think there's a some chance of it's that. It's Friday. Right, it's Friday. Yeah. It's Friday, I'm not it, wearing it, a look, tie. But, but so, so then he takes, uh, 100,000 American troops and takes them um, to Iraq where better than 4,000 of them are killed. So so only 7,000 Americans yeah. were killed during his yeah, presidency, 4,000 of them which he turned over essentially for no reason, yeah. no reason that made us unsafe. And and yet that's a round of applause. Yeah. And I, I pray I pray that the Democratic nominee, if it's Jeb, and I again was sitting in that seat when I said it would be Scott Walker, I now think it'll be Jeb. Um, that the Democratic nominee is, is, Hits is on ready to hammer and hammer and hammer on that because, you know, John Negroponte and Paul Wolfowitz are foreign policy advisors to Jeb, mm. uh, and those are the guys who brought you the Iraq war. Yeah, well, I'm sure that they've yes. learned a lot since then. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't think that it can be stressed enough. I mean, I mean we can sort of debate. I, I generally think. I think that Bush could have done a little bit more with the intelligence that was given to him prior to 9-11. <laughs> um, but the fact that he delivered up thousands of our soldiers to be killed by jihadists who the, on the only thing they wanted in the world was easy access to American soldiers to kill. And that was provided to them. So those are, those are still on Bush. He did not keep them safe. 